ku, kumuua baba yenu ni uko na message gani kwa mama my man mm. unajua eh, mambo ya family ni ngumu kiwa yeah. eh, wakati umesikia eh, kuwa Julius ndio mwenye anahusika kwa kifo cha baba yake nini likuja kwa akili yako wakati una ona Julius kwa kwa, kwa akili zako ili niuma ili niuma kwa uchungu kwa sababu maisha inakuaje niite Eric Mkaba tuko mahali fulani hivi amazing na nina mwanangu wa nguvu kwa jina Julius hivi juzi tumekuwa tukizungumza na mama Julius pale Lugare Ivona aki e, complain akisema kuwa wakati mzee Ken e, Muchirwa Ken Muchirwa wakati aliperson e, watu waliamka wakasema kuwa mwanae Julius ndiye alikuwa chanzo cha mzee kuondoka na tukakuwa tumeongana mzee na, na mama akakuwa anatuelezea vile waliishi na mzee na nikakuwa ni vizuri nikakuahidi tutakuwa tukizungumza na Julius before Julius aongee kwanza atatuambia yeye na mzee mahusiano yao yalikuwa yalikuwa namna gani usipanduke take us kio niaje Julius ah fit sana Eric eh hey, umekuaje nakushukuru sana finally tumepata nafasi ya kukutana eh hey, uko busy uko busy bizi nikutafuta bana eh eh unajua hii umri wetu mm-hmm. lazima ujitoke nashukuru kwanza kama mali mwili itachoka mm-hmm. lakini saa hizi kama kuna nguvu <laughs> opportunity tunaenda nayo <laughs> songa mbele kidogo tu eh okay. ndio tuonekane mm-hmm. vizuri mm-hmm. so eh, kwanza nashukuru na kuheshimu sana kuchukua huu muda eh, tumepatana mm-hmm. eh, kazi mwisho wa siku wa Mungu amesaidia tuko hapa Kapisa. kwanza tuambie tu unaendeleaje mm-hmm. naendelea vizuri mm-hmm. Eh do kuna maisha nimekuwa shaken kidogo mm. since uh, kufa kwa mzee. Mm-hmm. Uh, vitu mingi zime happen kwa maisha yangu. Yeah. Zanye siku anatarajia it was within a short period of time. Yeah. So maskini mesikia vitu mingi yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. At one time so life, life maisha ni kaka kind of bumpy. Yeah. Y- Unajaribu kutulia zinakuja na tulia zinakuja yes, yes. but it was we are struggling with it. So eh, eh, before tufike pale ungeza tu tuambia eh, wewe Julius na na mzee mahusiano yenu kwanza imekuwa namna gani ndio mzee kwanza akafika akaaga ndio kwanza tuelezee haya ma, ma, maneno tunasikia kwa mitandao ama kwa majirani ama kwa watu ama rafiki zako wa karibu na wambali mbali eh, wewe utafunguka na utuambie ukweli kwanza tuambie tu mahusiano yako na mzee mzee mm. uh, naweza inakuwa ngumu kueleza uhusiano wangu na mzee mm-hmm. because uh, ungempata na mimi na mzee hiyo maisha tuliishi naye unaenda sana unaenda sana hii maisha dogo nice eh venye tumeishi naye imekuwa kama ni kama ndugu ama rafiki mhm ya yeah? ile 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 feeling ya ile mzazi ile uoga ama ile una see ile command divo authority ya mzazi haikuwa yeah. between us so tungeongea mm-hmm. like ungejua and these are just friendly love just friendly brother that's kind of a relationship yeah. so sijawahi kuwa na tatizo yote na mzazi mimi mhm Sisemi hivi kujitetea ama kusemi hivi ama kusifia juu mm-hmm. mtu acha kufa ama nini mm-hmm. this is the reality mm-hmm. for my entire life sija hakuna siku mm-hmm. ni shaiko sana mzizi yeah you don't see ya me disagree like I'm English and you feel like dad mm-hmm. amekosa mbaya mm-hmm. ama mimi father mesikia nimekosa ambaye sijawahi mm-hmm. okay mimi watu watu uh, siblings maybe wenga amevurugana but for me i don't know why we have never you question me isn't i never that's what i can tell you mm-hmm. so Mzee anatuacha ukiwa huko eh, nji mm-hmm. huko nchini Kenya right. ulikuwa nje nji okay. ukasikia taarifa kuwa mzee amekufa na ulikuwa busy sana eh, kwanza wewe wakati unasikia mzee amefariki na mazishi inaendelea zile vitu zote zinaendelea misa kila kitu alafu unasikia mwisho wa siku wewe uli sacrifice yourself kutoka mahali ulikuwa na vile unajua kutoka ngambo kukuja kwa msiba Kenya ni swala nzito sana lakini ulingangana ukafika baadaye unasikia eh, Julius ndio anajua kiini ama kisa ama sababu ya mzee ku, ku, kukufa ama kuaga hiyo swala unalichukulia aje eh, ni nzito mm. bro ni nzito sana but you can you can imagine eh, let me tell you eh, kufa kwa mzee mm. ilikuwa like ilikuwa like two days kutane mzee alikufa was it on first mm-hmm my flight ilikuwa scheduled on third no on fourth mm-hmm. so nilikuwa harakati ile shopping hasa nirudi ilikuwa jioni nikiambia mzazi amekufa mm-hmm. akianza kugonja ilikuwa very short period of time mm-hmm. ilikuwa around 7 8 ndio narudi sana natoka narudi kwa nyumba mm-hmm. nikapigiwa na sister yangu 
that mtu hai afili vizuri mgonjwa sasa hizi amekimbiza hospitali nikamwambia usikue na wasiwasi mimi sister yangu nayo nimuoga sana nikamwambia usikue na wasiwasi atakuwa sawa as long as kama kuna ango zilikuwa na ango joe na ango rogers they will take care of him don't worry about that mm. after like one hour kama nimekaa one hour niko shughuli ya rakata kujipanga one hour hivi napigiwa napigiwa tena napiga analia niambia eh mzaa hali imekuwa mbaya mm. eh anapiga kelele analia nikamwambia has a do this e, now that the hospital you going to take time on ngoja ambulance mm. e, angea na ngorojas uulize wanaweza pata aje gari haraka mm. we can just the only thing you can do emergency hapo ni kutuma pesa ama kusaidia financially mm. right mm. so akaniambia ni sawa then after like one hour anapigia analia mzaa bone So mm. what happened immediately immediately after when the computer tivo it was around uku ilikuwa around 8 but it was on the other side it was around around 12 mm. midnight right mm. immediately i booked the flight immediately lenda ya por biaro kupata ndege nikaenda huko nikapata 12 around 3 niko ready on the way nakuja then nimekuja nime struggle so you know being the second one or just as being the boy una una require carry the first one mm-hmm ngakuja hapa harakati na angos panga hivi panga hivi tukangana zote ikaisha ilikuwa ni jikaza it was very painful but now ni clear the rest of the sibling now to me so mm-hmm. I, had, mm-hmm. i had to work i had to just to mm-hmm. make sure that niko very 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 stable like sita kwa shake na mato watu wanaongea mm-hmm. then sikujua what is happening yani vijana watu wanaongea ama vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. later after kuzika mzazi ndio naanza kusikia inasemekana wewe uli sacrifice mzazi like i thought na income hii naota manini like why and how how can that happen hmm ni ngumu sana kujitetea eric kujitetea like mimi siku no inasemekana niko illuminati i just wonder why illuminati ni na mpaka na shina kuelewa what is that because my understanding is something totally different right i'm fail to understand mtu akisema uko illuminati eh julius eh, wakati tulikuwa kwa mazishi ya ya mzee eh, tulikuwa na Uh, la, laini ama tuseme laini imekuwa inapanga umesimama na kuna ulipewa microphone na ulikuwa wewe uongee exactly. lakini kwa sababu ulikuwa emotional sana ukapea mtu kulikuwa na mzee hapo ulipea mic aongee kwanza ndio upate nafasi pia ya wewe ku, ku, yeah. kuongea mm-hmm. uh, all of a sudden uh, upepo mkubwa ukakuja na wakati tu mzee alikuwa anataka kuongea ndio upepo ukakuja uh, unaweza kutuambia kati ya upepo ungeokuwa ni wewe umeongea hiyo maneno yenye wanasema ingekuwa inaingiana ama pia hiyo kitu inakufeva kidogo kwa sababu haikukuja wakati wewe unaongea ilikuja wakati mtu mwingine anaongea <coughs> let me correct you if i'm if i'm clear nikiwa mm. clear sana mm. mm, wakati nilishika microphone mm. ni i remember nilisema vizuri mtu yote anaita marehemu baba ama wanaita ango most of the cousin they call mm. he is well known as ango ken mm. when amuita ango ama baba mm. wakuji hapa mm. that's when he middle that's when that thing happened so hii mambo ya kuconnect ama ku link unaweza sometimes live lifestyle yetu ama life mtu mm. anaweza jaribu kushikanisha mm. oh umefanya hivi una so they try to shikanisha dots mpaka mm. kukuta washa ku link hiyo kitu yani kujaribu watu wewe mm. ku help inakuwa ngumu na chini ndajitetea you know mm. they are trying to link everything mm. because it started long time ago let me tell you back right 2017 it gonna be long 2020 2018 all right 2018 i got an accident right nikuwa kazi mimi kazi yangu ni mikono i got amputated some of my fingers ikaumia all right ilianzia hapo kasemekana huyu mtu could we have even family members i'm sorry to mention this they wish that mikono zangu zingeenda zote in those days so they linked from that time that's when they linked that story mm. back as I said that time when I was doing the sacrifice so from there I got I changed job ama nini mm. nikaanza to just improve maisha ya mzazi mm. vitu kama hizo so mm. they connect all those dots mm. up to now mm. so itakuwa ngumu kwanza kujitetea mm. kwanza kusema okay ni mapenzi yake Mungu amenisaidia ni fika is fika so I don't have that time mm. to explain myself vitu kama hizo mm. because nina jaribu ku imagine Eric at this at this time mm. like najitetea I did not kill my dad isa ndio zuri mazi ni ngumu sana mm. very very mm. this is very painful tulikuwa na mama uh, akasema vile amekulea na vile we umekuwa na malezi amekuwa na malezi na wewe we ulikuwa mtoto mpole kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nilimuuliza eh, Julius eh, kati ya ya, ya ya watu wake ama neighbors wanamjua aje kando na wewe kwa sababu wewe ni mzazi we unajua Julius 
e, atuambie we ulikuwa mtu wa gani kama labda ndani yako kulikuwa na spirit ya, 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 ya utata ama spirit ya kufanya ma, ma, mambo mm. kama hiyo mm. na, na mama akalia sana mama akasema vile najua mtoto wangu aisi akafanya kitu kama hicho though hata wanasema wewe ulishikana na mama yako ku, ku, kumuua baba yenu ni uko na message gani kwa mama my mom mm. Um, and the family ngumu the good thing in the same and uh, i think my mom anapata nguvu kutoka kwetu at the moment mm. yeye anaweza kuwa the weakest part mm. and anaweza kuwa very weak at the moment but we're trying to comfort her mm. it's very painful to see her and to come easy very very painful mm. so eh uh, kitu naweza sema yeye kuanza kujitetea uh, kama again umeuliza aje i'm sorry eh, ni mama ali mama alikutetea sana na alikutetea na machozi. So nilikuwa nataka eh, kwa kuwa yeye alilia sana umpe message, umtumie tu message mahali yeye yako. We take over. Okay. Ju alisema yeye anasikia vibaya kwa sababu mzee ame struggle na nyinyi na yeye alikuwa happy sana kuona yeye na mzee wanakula mali ya watoto wake. Inakuwa ni painful kusikia ameua mzee na angekuwa anataka mzee akae after 34 years mzee wakae wa kule mali ya baba yao na vin, mali ya watoto wao na venye sahi Mungu amewabariki alafu vitu zinye zinafanyika anasikia uchungu anasikia ni kama yani eh, aliongea na uchungu na pia mimi taswa nilisema nitakutafuta na pia wewe useme eh, side of na Julius hii ni time tupo ya wako wewe ku, kuongea watu wa, wa kuelewe hata kama hata kuelewa lakini wajue Julius line yake ni hii na hii na hii let me tell you uh, waje nikwambie kwanza mm. is very is very unique mm. uhusiano ya my dad mm. mom yeah. okay nikikumbuka vizuri muda mwingi tumeishi na mom mm. Father, father alikuwa hapa Nairobi anatafuta unajua yeye hali tu ya wazazi mm. mzee alikuwa hapa Nairobi anatafuta so he spend most of the time hapa Nairobi sisi tukana madhe uko home right if i'm not wrong the jayo na like how tumekaa na mm. sisi wote <laughs> Three months consecutive. You know, three months consecutive. Like, we have more people here. That year, it was rare. We have come one month. The longest one month. Now, I cannot come to Nairobi. You understand? We have come here for two to three years. We have come here. We have come here to come happily. I mean, happy. Okay, let me say happily. And we are not now during COVID. Yeah. During COVID, I forcefully told my dad, "Now is your time. It's our time now. We end up music and yumba nuka now. So we'll take care of you. Yes. Whatever you spend, we'll take care of you. Mm. I just see tunganga Nairobi. We are still young, energetic. Mm. Tunaiza ngana na Nairobi. Mm. So I'm here. You can imagine since twenty. It's around three, four years. For me, it's a zuri. Then I'm gonna go to Namwacha Saizi. Then I'm gonna go to the that I can't go to Bwanake. It is very painful. Very painful. Then something I fail to understand. Meka chini kajuliza. Eh. Ah, tu wenyana sema hivi wanaomba nani? Wanaomba nani? Because Eric Kato ina na ile nzuri. Sometimes whatever you doing right now, right? Mm. I congratulate you are doing a very hard work and you are very hard working. Now, uko na lazima like Mungu ukiamka asubuhi, you pray God, right? Yeah. Sure. Unaambia Mungu nisaidie chochote ninachokupanga kufanya leo kiende vizuri, unatarajia mm. na kulinde na kufungulia njia. Mm. That's what everybody prays, right? Sure. So I don't know sisi ama mimi mtoto wa Ken or the Ken Ken has been we were known to be very less fortunate to kwa ile maisha ingine so ile za yume maisha mbovu so we are well known like that we don't know why size that's how they were chance to kuona something kwa Ken inaanza kuuma now they believe that now we don't pray god so to chance to kuomba mtu mwingine so who is supposed to use sisi na fatu mbe nani i pray every day mungu anbariki my ba, my dad ananiombea mimi everybody ana pray mungu mm. mungu akikubariki nao inakuwa hasa now you don't pray god whatever you are getting now it doesn't receive my baraka ya mungu mm. baraka mtu mwingine ya yeah, eh, ni kama ni ni, ni kinuku, kile kitu mm, vile sana jaribu kusema kuna kama shetani anabariki na mungu ndiye aliumba shetani kwa nini mungu asibariki eh, watu wetu mnaamini sana wakati vijana tuna mafanikio tunaenda vizuri mnaamini tunaenda kwa njia mbaya e, sisi tumelelewa kwa misingi mizuri e, kama ni familia ya Ivona ama Lugari ama popote mahali Julius alizaliwa mimi nataka mjue kama shetani anabariki shetani ametoka kwa mikono ya Mungu akamkejeli akamsaliti ndio kukakuwa na e, akashawishi 
paka akashawishi vitu mingi sana ndio kukakuwa na zile eh, separation between God and eh, Lucifer ama Satan. Kama shetani ananabariki, Mungu anaweza kabariki zaidi. Hiyo ndio kitu mimi naamini. Naomba tu saa hii vijana tumeamua tutafanya kazi, tutaamua tutam, tutamshukuru pia tutaomba Mungu pia tubariki. Tupatieni backup, tunahitaji backup yenu na, na maombi yenu pia. Kwa sababu hatutakuwa wavivu kwa sababu mtasema tumeenda makanisa ya, ya, ya shetani, sijui tunaabudu shetani, sijui kafara, sijui nini. No, 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 no. Mungu anabariki na Mungu ni muweza. Na Mungu kile Mungu anaweza fanya, shetani haezi fanya. Na mtu yeyote pala kwa na nguvu, hata rais mgani na mgani, haezi fanya kitu Mungu anaweza fanya. Patieni vijana amani, wafanya kazi na wainue mabomba zao na Mungu abaki kuwa Mungu. So eh, eh, Julius ningependa tuangalie wa kamera eh, uambie watu kitu unaona mimi sija kuuliza. Mm, kuna kitu nilikuwa na kueleze. Mm. Enye tulifundishwa na mzazi. Mm-hmm. Okay? Amenifundisha vitu mingi a lot. So mm, nitaishi kutimiza ile mambo aliyokuwa amenifundisha. Yeah. I can promise. Mm. Sitaenda against. Okay. What you kuna kitu nilifundisha hii maisha mm. ya yeah? kwa na imani you understand some of us mzi hii mambo hii ya mambo ya kutuamini kitu fulani inaweza kufanyika kwa family yetu hii na mimi mm. sasa mimi i guess ndio imekuja ime explode because i'm trying to mm. implement whatever mzazi alikuwa ameanza mm. mzazi akianza huko ivone tukafika huko alikuwa anajulikana kabisa he is not able to even to buy a piece of land okay wakati alinua hiyo shamba ikakuwa kazi penye anafanya kazi mm. ikaanza kuwa ni mwizi mm. you understand mm. ikakuwa there is no way unaweza nunua shamba yeye anajulikana yeye pesa yake ni ya hand to mouth mm. there is no way can afford that yeah, sure. na akanunua tuka relocate lugari mimi kusoma kwangu alright nobody believe i remember my dad aliuza ngombe 7000 you know but i didn't pay the best of education ili soma na siku mwanguja i can assure you i pass in every stage of my education alright mm. From high school from primary high school I passed nikakuja campus and I passed campus to Dingangana mbaya mbovu I can tell you ilikuwa viraka kisia hii maisha viraka ile unapiga hivi unasonga unapiga hivi unasonga you understand yeah, yeah. hivyo mpaka ikaisha yeah. come to my sister when I fought I don't know why I want wana wana mimi peke yake zangu my sister is also working almost any almost same salary with me yeah but I don't know that mimi ndio nakuwa the soft target my sister same dada kipeleka sister yangu chule campus mimi nilikuwa namwekea i took one year mzee kuchanga pesa akachanga 40000 one year akapata 200 mimi naenda ku deposit akapanga what you should do that people never believed anaweza peleka mtoto shule now we are done kwa shule now people don't believe now same same people nyako na mimi naweza somesha they don't believe that now sisi tuweza fanikiwa kwa maisha tukoje tusaidie wazazi mm-hmm. i think they were expecting to, in whichever way to polele Nairobi mm-hmm. polele kwa hiyo na sa pombe we don't do that mm-hmm. we are far away from that bullshit na so ina umo watu sana wakianza kuona now we are impressing whatever mzaza alikuwa ameanza mm-hmm. now we are supporting them the few things that tunajaribu kufanya nothing mzee sijui mbona watu wanajaribu kusema i don't know ukawa unajua ile mimi tamaa nikutamka tu anatamka mm-hmm. Sijui nini wanaona or maybe kuna ile they see style me or whichever way ndio yeah. wanaona they are targeting. You to church there's nothing mm. ni church whatever I do me I don't save money the little money na pata mimi mm. naambia father naambia nimeenda mahali fulani nimepata yeah. pesa do this my father ndiye alikuwa alikuwa ananiekea pesa I can tell you amekufa kama kuna pesa yetu tulikuwa tunataka project mm. tunataka tufanye mm. all right so yeye ndiye alikuwa acha nifundishe hivyo like you don't need kungoja ukuwe na pesa fulani ndio fanye fulani kitu the little kido, money unapata yeke little money your money whenever you make money just start expand just start in your house mimi nikipata size hata yeah. ile vijerini ndao cha bandanza kwa nyumba kwanza i plan with you, my family then just on ifikiri how will i spend it mm. that's what you learn from our father okay. all right mm. and that's what we're living with and then so in your vita ukipiga tukipiga size unajua mm. tutapigwa sana mm. if god anaendea kutubariki wow. tunaenda kupita hizo vita sana but that no god my friend God atakuwa na sisi. Amekuwa na sisi since utotoni. Hadi sasa. Tumepitia challenges my friend Eric. Hizi mm-hmm. vitu zinakuja saa hizi. Sometimes siku hii siku hii eh, I'm not surprised kusikia vitu kama hizi kitajwa. Na cha sikia vitu mingi mm-hmm. unakulengkiwa mm-hmm. why mbona why why mbona why it happens. But now we know tunasimama na nani. You understand? Ingekuwa mbaya kabisa if ni hapa Nairobi it's happened with vijana wengine hata hapa Nairobi mm-hmm. nakuta huko hapa Nairobi your parents or your cousin or they don't know what you are doing mm-hmm. una sio unasema niko tu biashara mko na biz nobody understands you for me nikitoka Eric 
nikienda nje anji dad knows what i'm going to do nikitoka hapo nikienda mombasa nikienda wapi I, i move around around they know they pray for me mm. so whatever natoka nayo they know mtoto wangu yapata hivi na nitaambia baba nipate hivi hebu shika hivi for this purpose shika hivi that's what i'm doing yeah. and i'm trying to do the entire family family yetu mzazi wangu ameweka mimi mm. sister oh, sis wote atunanga atunanga tofauti tume amekufa kama sis wote tumeshikana oh. and will maintain that mm. so hiyo ndiki at least inapatia my mom ile nguvu unaona mm. naona like at least atapata ile upendo ya yeah, atakosa we have to make sure that so mimi nasema wale watu wanao kuwa na wanao wanaoamini wao oh, nimejiingiza kwa mambo mengine wao wameshikana na mama mm. waendelee okay. if there are genes a progress guess if there are genes whatever going, we, we, are, we are going through we are, we are up to mm. then they should be sub- the, the end in a far nasema aje so you are i don't know what i say but they will be they will be surprised okay. yeah to touch kisho chini amen this thing i know very well way my dad the fact is my dad alivyo I can join the dots I know where I started personally but I cannot mention okay I know that they trying to convert mm-hmm. to to to, to, to they trying to change attention na to make sure that sasa whatever to sijaribu kuangalia nani alifanya hivi ama nani tusia tuachane hizo kwanza kupigana na hizo vita mimi mm-hmm. sikufanya sikufanya so they can proceed that, I know that's what they are trying to do mm-hmm. we, I'm telling them we are not interested in that we cannot get justice mm-hmm. they just we cannot we, we cannot undo whatever has happened na Yeah. Anyway, eh, niliwaahidi tutakuwa tukizungumza na Julius. Julius hapa amekuja, amejieleza. Eh, natumai kwangu kutoka kwangu kwa Julius hadi kwako umeyasikia vizuri kama uko pale na ulikuwa eh, na maswali kwenye kinywa ama kwenye mawazo, umepata vinye Julius ameongea. Ako open, ako emotional, amekuelezea ile kitu yeye anajua. Ajasema kitu wewe unajua nafikiri umesikia vizuri sana. So tuko na kazi yako hapa ama ni, ni ndugu yako. Mm. Akuja tu pia. Ndugu hizo well unaona kama ndugu. Sisi wote tunajua family ni ndugu. Unaweza okay. tukuja hapa. Unaweza <laughs> tukuja hapa pia na utuambie vile labda unajua Julius na venye umeelewa na Julius na wewe pia eh, Angoken ama eh, mzee Ken umemjua aje pia. Ah, mimi kwangu mm. tangu kuzaliwa mm. mara nyingi kwa miaka zangu ambao nimeishi. Mm kwa muda mwingi ambao mm. tumeishi tume nimeishi na Angoken mm. nikiwa mdogo nikiwa nasoma primary mm. mara nyingi nilikuwa naishi kwa nyumba yake baba yangu na mama yangu mzazi mm. wakiwa naishi hapa Nairobi mm. so mara nyingi mimi namjua vizuri zaidi mm. hata wakati ninapofikia kwamba uh, Julius anakuja kuzaliwa mm. mimi nilikuweko na ninajua kuzaliwa kwake maisha ambayo amepitia mm. challenges zote ambayo amepitia mm. mm. na hata baada baba yake kuaga nimesalia kuwa na nakaa naye na imizana naye mm. tuna Eza kusaidiana mawazo moja mbili tatu au kama yeah. kuna kitu imekuwa gumu mm. anapata kuniambia agree kuko hivi tutasaidiana na namna gani mm. na ndipo sasa tunaweza kupiga hatu hatua mm. so inakuja kwa wakati ambao mzae anakuja anaaga tunapata kushindwa kuelewa nini lijiri mm. na kwa nini lifanyika mm. na ndipo tunazidi kujaribu kuona kwamba tutafanya nini mm. ndipo sasa kesho tupate kuendelea because nikikumbuka ile wiki ambao mzae alikufia alinipigia simu mwenyewe na vile unavyotambua kwamba wakati kulikuwa kwa matanga aya nilieleza kwamba alinipigia akiniambia kwamba mm. niitane wajukuu wote wa babu yetu ambao anaitwa Malenje kwamba tukae chini tushauriane nansi kose na ilikuwa tarehe ngapi tarehe 4 naye alikufa tarehe ngapi tarehe moja so ikawa kwamba alinielezea kwamba ni jaribu na nikawa kwamba nimecommunicate kwa kila mmoja kwamba tukutane hiyo siku tujadiliane tuone kwamba wazo gani ambalo tuko nalo laweza kuweza kuweka kutoweka kwa pamoja mm-hmm. kuimizana kama yeah. jamii yeah. ndipo sasa wakati unapofanya kitu au unapowaza kwamba unataka kufanya jambo fulani mm-hmm. unaulizana kwamba ni kitu gani tunaweza kufanya ili kwamba mmoja anaweza kushika mwingine mkono ili kwamba tuweze kutembea kwa pamo, pamoja kwa pamoja mm-hmm. so ili kutupata kwa mshangao hiyo siku wakati nilipopigiwa simu na baba mzazi kwa sababu yeye ndiye alikuwa naye kwa karibu kwa ile siku ni kutoka kumtoa nyumbani kumpeleka hospitali walikuwa naye mm. na wakati alipofika kwa hospitali kujaribu kuweza kuona kwamba hali yake itakuwa namna gani mm. walingangana na walijaribu kwa namna kutafuta transport kuona madaktari washughulike mm. mm. kisha baadaye jioni ni, 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 mimi kitoka kazini niko kwamba nimepata changamoto kwamba mm. sikuwa na amani ndani ya moyo wangu mm. So wakati nilipokuwa napangilia hata nitoke kwa ofisi napata kama mwili nakoa kwa mzito mm. naona kwamba siwezi nasema acha nikae kidogo alafu mm. ndio nie mm-hmm. niende so kwenda kufika kwa nyumba tarehe saa moja hivi babangu mzazi Rogers 
kanipigia simu kaniambia eh hey, unajua nini mm. babako Kenneth ametua mm. ametuacha mm. ili niuma kwa sababu tumeongea tumepanga kila kitu iko kila kitu iko seti kwa ajili ya kupangilia na ndipo sasa tukarudishie uh, uju mm. ujumbe na nikirudi hapo nyuma before tukuje hiyo december ambao tulikuwa kule nyumbani before mm. hii mwaka iweze kuanza mm. tulikuwa nao pamoja kule nyumbani yeah. na wazazi wetu tukaongea tukapangilia hii mwaka itakuwa na namna gani because almost of the time una set target target kama itakuwa juu mtashinda kama itakuwa chini mjue kwamba kuna mali muli fail na mu yeah. jioji wenyewe mjue kwamba mtafanya kitu gani mm. kitu gani so wakati tulipokaa tukaongea ikawa kwamba sasa tukutane mm. vijana ambao tuko huko Nairobi tukio kwamba kuna watoto mashagazi zetu kama mmoja enok au una wale wa ndugu zangu ambao tuko na hapa Nairobi tuitane tukae chini tupige gumzo kidogo tujue kwamba kitu gani nafanya kwamba kulingana na mawazo ambao wazazi wamekuwa nao tuweze tutafanya nini tutafanya nini so wakati hiyo kitu ilikuja ikawa kwamba tuweze kutana na mzee akawa niambia kwamba akasema kwamba ai kwa nini hata tujaongee ile kitu ambao mzee alikuwa amenini na kwetu kama sisi tunapomuona mimi ndikuwa namuona kama baba ule baba yangu mm. na pia rafiki wa, wangu wa kari, mm. wa karibu baba yangu mzazi ambaye amenizaa ni muda tulikuwa naongea naye kama baba mzazi but yeye alikuwa zaidi ya baba yangu kwa sababu mm. gani alinachanganya mpaka urafiki kwa pesa kuongea hata kama mnakaa pao watu watashangaa watu kwa nini yeah. huyu ni baba na mwana au ni ndugu mm-hmm. so hakukuwa na tofauti ati huyu ni baba na mwana ilikuwa kama ni kama marafiki mm-hmm. marafiki kama ni kuongea mambo ya siasa tunaongea tu pamoja kama mm-hmm. ni kuongea mambo ya familia kila mtu mm-hmm. akaopen labda labda ni, ni, ni ku, kuulize mm-hmm. eh, ango ama baba Ken mm-hmm. na um, unamjua vizuri mm. eh, Julius unamjua vizuri mele, amezaliwa ukiwa umezaliwa yeah. labda yeye akiwa yeah. eh, wakati umesikia eh, kuwa Julius ndio mwenye anahusika kwa kifo cha baba yake nini ilikuja kwa akili yako wakati unaona Julius kwa kwa, kwa akili zako ili niuma ili niuma kwa uchungu kwa sababu maisha ya Julius ni kama kwa, 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 kwa namna mingine ni mimi kama ni mlezi wake katika mambo mengi ambayo tumekuwa tukijadiliana kwa ajili ya kujikuamua katika maisha kwa sababu lazima wewe utafute mahali pa kusimamia ndipo usipate kuendelea kwa sababu mara nyingi mimi namjua Mungu na katika hali kwamba namjua Mungu unakuta kwamba mashauri mengi hata katika hali ya kwamba vida anavyo kuweza kuja aoe mm. ajipanga jijenge mm. a, afanye hatua moja hata katika hali masomo kwa sababu kiwango kile ambao amesoma na kile kiwango ambao mimi nimesoma most of the time angelikuja kwangu aniambia agree kitu iko hivi na hivi na hiyo niweza fanya namna gani kwa sababu kile kitu ambao mimi nilifanya kinauzisha mambo ya yeye alifanya ambao most of the time amekuwa akikonsult mm. akikonsult mm. so akikuja kwangu na mwambie hivi kwa kwamba mm. kuna kitu ambayo anahitaji katika hali ya kusaidiana hali kwamba inaweza kuwa kwamba unataka kwenda shule na una pesa mm. ataniambia agree niko hivi nisaidie mm. na ndipo sasa unakuta kwamba tumeshikana kama ndugu ambao tunajaribu kusaidiana ili kwamba tuchukue kwa sababu mwanzo wetu huko mzuri okay eh. so tuko na Julius hapa mm. na tu, tu, uzuri tunaongea akiwa hapa yeah, yeah. eh, Julius ni ndugu yako yeah. eh, nini umepata kumwambia akae aishi akijua kama ndugu yake mkubwa naweza tu mwambia nena tukimalizia mimi langu kumuhimiza ni kwamba ajipe moyo mm-hmm. kitu cha muhimu ni kwamba mm-hmm. amesimama kwa msingi ambao ni ya mu, mm-hmm. Mungu kwa sababu kwetu kwamba kama sisi familia ambayo imezaidiwa mm-hmm. sijai ona msingi ule ambao ni wagiza ambao uliweza kuinuliwa kutoka kwa mababu zetu ambao tunaweza kusema kwamba tuliegemea ndao ndio unaweza kusaidia kufanya mambo ambayo ni maovu mm-hmm. babu yetu alikuwa mtu wa kumjua Mungu babu, nyanya yetu alikuwa mtu wa kumjua Mungu mm-hmm. na wazazi wetu wote ambao ni watu wa kumjua mu, mm-hmm. Mungu mm-hmm. kwa hivyo unakuta kwamba wakati mtu anavyoona kitu kizuri na wewe tokea au nyota mzuri mm-hmm. kama vile Julius anapomlinganisha na baba yake mm-hmm. Baba alikuwa nyota katika familia yetu na ndiposo unakuta kwamba kitu yote kuhusu mambo ya uongozi alikuwa na yule ushauri ambao anaelewa lile ambao unaofikiria mm-hmm. kabla hata ulizijiongee na anakuambia kwamba naona kwamba unaumia mahali fulani so kile kitu ambacho baba yake alikuwa nacho ndicho kwa upande wangu kama vile unavyoweza jaribu kuangalia katika hali ya kiroho au katika hali kukaa mtu na ukamuelewa mm-hmm. unakuta kwamba pigo ambalo tulipata ni kwamba tuliondoa tuliondolewa nyota ile au ule kiongozi wa familia ambao tulikuwa tunamwegemea kwa mm. kwake mm. kwaje ushauri mm. kwaje uelekezi mm. kwaje kubangilia mambo yake mm. ya kesho alijaliwa na Mungu kibali mm. hicho mm-hmm. so unakuta kwa namna moja tulibiwa kibali ambacho kingetusaidia kwenda hatu hatu mm. lakini so hatuwezi so kwa namna kwa namna moja unaambia Julius mm. atekova atekova okay katika hali kuongoza familia yao uh, Julius i think uh, agree ni ndugu yako Tuseme ndugu yako wa dhati 
e, angekuwa ni, na unafiki angesema Julius asijali kutakuwa na mtu mwingine lakini uh, ana imani e, vitu mzee Ken alikuwa anafanya au anaweza take over na ziendelee mm-hmm. uh, i think hapo tuko vizuri mm-hmm. so jambo na hisi sijakuuliza tukimalizia tu mimi langu tu ni kuimiza kuna watoto wa mashangazi zangu mm-hmm. mama zetu mm-hmm. ndugu wa, wa baba yetu Ken mm-hmm. Uh, na mama zetu wote mm. wasikufe moyo yes, kwa sababu ule mwenye kupeana ni nani mm. ni Mungu mm. na pia wakati napokuja fika mahali hata sometimes anasema kwamba pia akifika kwamba anataka kuona kwamba atachukua kilicho kizuri achukue ni Mungu pia wow. kwa hivyo letu kwamba ni kuwaambia kwamba imani ile ambayo Mungu ameweza kutupalia kibali mm. ambao hatukufa umejua mm. kwamba wokovu ni kibali ambao cha hatukufa kupe mm. kupewa yeah. lakini yeah. ni kwa neema ambayo tumejaliwa kwamba tunaishi saa hizi mm. Kuna wengi ambao nitamani kwamba hata tuwe kwamba hatuko tunaishi. Lakini kwa sababu ni neema Mungu tunaishi. Nawaambia kwamba tegemeeni Mungu kwa imani yenu. Nisome neno, mm. omba Mungu, muulize chochote. Anasema kwamba ukibisha atafanya namna gani? Atafungua. Ukiuliza atapea. Mm. So letu ni kwamba tumtegemee Mungu katika kila jambo lote. Kesho ya Mungu tutakutana siku nyingine tukisema kwamba pia ametenda. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Judas, tuko sawa ama kuna kitu? Sawa kabisa. Tuko vizuri. Kabisa. Tumekuwa na Julius eh, Julius Mwanae eh, ag, eh, Ken eh, Muchilwa na pia Agri pia ni anaita Ken eh, babae ama babake mkubwa na wamekuja hapa tukakuwa tunaeka mambo wazi ili mkaweze kujua pia msiumize Julius sana anajikaza anapambana nafaa jenge mama so tumtie nguvu na tumuombe pia eh, kwangu kutoka kwako nimeshukuru kwako ku tune on kwa hii channel subscribe share na tunajua yote itawezekana shalom 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 nite eric mukabwa bye bye